Hello, welcome. Please pause the video and try the problem out and then press play. We'll solve it together. All right, so we're told that we have the equal term. So these are our two terms and they're equal. So I'm going to write that as an equation because they're probably going to ask us something about this equality right here. Okay. Determine and state y in terms of x. So we want to get y all by itself. So we want some kind of statement that says y equals something in terms of x. How do we do that? Well, the first thing I'm going to do, I, if you have these radical signs in here, I suggest that you rewrite it using exponents. So x is being raised to the fifth power, and the third root is being taken. So it's x to the five thirds. Quick side note, if you had this written right here, this would be the same thing. These are equal. The fifth power, if it's inside or outside this symbol right here, it's equivalent because in this case it's x to the one third first, then that whole thing to the fifth. With our law of exponents, we use multiplier exponents right here, and five times a third is still five thirds. So don't worry about the location of that exponent right there. In the end, we still get five thirds. What do you do next? Well, to undo this exponent and solve for y to the first, we have to basically work backwards. Um, this is telling us that y raised to the fifth power and the sixth root being taken gets you this value for x, x to the five thirds. Well, to work backwards, we want to take the sixth power to undo the sixth root and the fifth root to undo the fifth power. They're opposite operations, right? Do it to both sides, and we solve it. Why? Because here, with these two exponents, multiply them. You get 5 times 6, 30 over 30, and that's just 1. So this, this gives you y to the first. All right, it's going to be 30 over 30. I'll move my equal sign right here. And you know what? I'll just rewrite that. So basically, you're going to get 5 times 6, you multiply the numerators, and 6 times 5 on the bottom, 30 over 30, which is 1. And over here, you get x to the 30 over 15. So if we think about what's happening here, that means you have y to the first, or just y, equals x to the second power. 30 divided by 15 is 2. And you're done. So again, one quick fix for many of these problems here is to apply the exponent, uh, the reciprocal of the exponent, to both sides. It keeps your equation balanced and allows you to solve for your variable. If you don't like doing it that way, you can do it in parts. So you can first undo the fifth power by taking the fifth root of both sides. You get some stuff, then you redo it, undo the sixth root by taking the sixth power of both sides, and it will still get you the same result. Okay, I hope this helped.